Again, you want to know how to finish up this Batman Batarang, I'll see you guys. Hopefully in the first and second tutorials. Now I'll see you in this one right now. This is the third part. Uh, we're going get, to get some more stuff done today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hey, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai. Today we're back. <laughs> I forgot to say that. We're going to hit tab to go into edit mode here. Um, and we'll go ahead and go hit uh, one on our, on our numpad to go into the front facing view. Uh, the first and second parts will all uh, be uh, on my channel. Go check that out. Hit my channel name if you didn't happen to catch those before you're watching this one. We'll go ahead and grab all of these faces, but I want to do this a special way. So we'll go hit three to go into our, uh, our side view. Hit this little button to go into X-ray, and then hit B to box select only the front vertices here. So we want the front ones now. Uh, go one, hit one on my numpad to go to the front face of view again. We can turn off X-ray now, and I want to go ahead and uh, hit S to scale this down. Now, you can see when we scale this down, we have this really nice kind of edge effect, but some of these are, are kind of messed up. So we'll go ahead and hit S to scale that down, and then we'll hit uh, SZ to scale it on the Z axis, which is pretty sweet, right? So we'll go ahead and do that. Hit G, maybe Y to move it up a little bit. Uh, now, these little pieces right here on the corners, you see this is kind of messed up right here, so we got to fix that. We'll go ahead and um, hit C to go to the brush tool. And middle mouse button drag over top of every single vertice that is not these pieces. So we'll hit uh, middle mouse button on all of these except for these. And we do also do not want any of this little head piece right here. So we'll get rid of all of this as well. There we go. All right. We don't want that one either. Neither one of those. All right. Sweet. So uh, we're going we're gonna to hit S. X to scale down on the X axis. Now you can see, ooh, uh, did I unselect something by accident? Uh, oh, there's a second vertice here. So we're going to grab that one too. So we're going to grab that one too. Uh, hit C uh, and select uh, these, this one. And I think that should be good. We're going to have to move all that over as well. So we'll just select all of these vertices right here up until that vertice because we're going to need to move these over anyway. So move all those over. Hit S, C. And then we'll hit C to, oops, nope, we'll hit C to select that bad boy and that one too. S, X, and then C once again. Move on all of these vertices over. We'll fix this in a second here. But now there we go, looking pretty good. All right, so now we have that edge right here, which we can just move these over by hand now. So hold on Shift, S, X, uh, hold on Shift, S, X. And we'll kind of just get these to be as smooth as possible here. We'll, we'll clean this up in a second here. Uh, there we go. Now we have that nice little edge there. But over here, you can see we have some jumbliness, which is not good. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing we did up with this line up here. We'll hit C to select all of these uh, right here. And I want to make sure we don't have anything unselected. So unselect that. Hit B. Unselect that. Uh, and we do the same thing over here. Since this is not mirrored anymore, we have to, we have to kind of fix it up. So C. We will grab all of this line right here. Yeah. And then we're also going to have to grab... Uh, I think it's oh, no, I think it's uh, I think it's this guy. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, we'll, we'll grab that guy and then this one as well. C, grab that piece. Uh, we'll hit G Y to move it up just a little bit. Have a little bit of space there, and we'll hit uh, S Z zero. There we go. So now it's completely straight, and we can go uh, and we can go ahead and, uh, and, and and move on now. So looking good. I like it. Everything looks good. Uh, we can go to three. Look at it from the side view. Everything is nice and and tip top shape again. We have a couple of weird vertices right here though. So I do want to move these over. Hit uh, S Z. Uh, sorry, a G X. What I'm saying, uh, G X to move it on the X axis. will uh, actually do the same thing. We have to, like I said, we have to do the same thing, same thing on both sides because it's not mirrored anymore. So we'll grab that one. Hold on Shift, and we'll grab this one as well. Uh, uh, S X. Now we have to scale them. S X. We'll grab the same thing with this one and the other side. S X. And this one is the last one. Grab that S X. There we go. Uh, and we can also move this vertice up. So we'll grab that one. Um, and we'll grab that one, move it up just a little bit, like that. Now, uh, we are looking good. I'm going to move this piece down, so we'll grab that edge. We're just doing a little bit of cleaning up here, like I said. So we'll go ahead and grab that and just hit, uh, uh, move it out like that. Nope, move it out, move it up. GX and GY, by the way. Uh, sorry, SX and XY, by the way, so we can scale them. Since we, we have to scale them because we have both of them selected. We can't just move them because it'll, it'll move that the left one all the way over here, which is not what we want. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, SX and then S, 
uh, and then G Y to move it down like that. So that's pretty good. I'm going to move it up a little bit. There we go. So we're looking good. There we go. Um, all right. So now we have all that set up. I'm going to go ahead and do some of the creasing and subdivision now. So uh, you can see we have these lines here, which is not what I want. We're also going to go ahead and mirror this one back. So we'll go ahead and hit add modifier mirror. And then we will go ahead and hit Z instead of uh, X. We'll uncheck X. And we'll hit tab to go into edit mode. Hit A to select everything. And I want to turn on clipping. And then we'll just hit uh, G. I'm sorry, no. We'll hit, no, we'll uncheck clipping for now. And then we'll just move this backwards. We'll hit uh, G, Y. And then we'll turn on clipping. And then hit move G, Y. And then we'll push them into each other. And now they look uh, connected. There we go. So that was good. Make sure they are actually connected like that there we go looking good perfect so uh now we're all set to go we can go ahead and downsize that mirror modifier we don't need it right now we'll hit add modifier subdivision surface and now it's going to smooth everything which is not what we need but we'll fix that in a second so i'll go ahead and uh hit three to go into the front facing view here um unselect everything by hitting a uh we'll turn this uh this x-ray modifier again x-ray uh tool again and hit b to box select drag a box over top of all that stuff and then we will go ahead and uh, go to uh, hit this little tab open here and go to mean crease. Turn that mean crease all the way up. Now you can see we have uh, some really, really, really cool uh, sharp edges now. If I were to go ahead and uh, take a look at the, the reason we're seeing these lines right here is because we have the mirror modifier on. If we oh, if we didn't have that on, you only see the one. That one line right here is probably if I can grab it. It's probably this line right here all the way down. Or, no, it's this guy right here. It's this one right here, isn't it? I think it is. Hold on, let me... Uh, uh, Z, solid. And, yeah, it's that right here. So, it's that, it's that line right here. So, but that's fine. Don't worry about that line. It's just it's just showing you a line. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit uh, two, maybe even three on that bad boy. Uh, yeah, we'll turn it up to three. Uh, now, for all the other edges here, I do want to go ahead and select uh, all of these edges. So, we'll select... Hold down. Oh, what was that? We'll hold down Alt and Shift, select that edge, click that edge right there, and then we can go ahead and turn Mean Crease up. You can see that's not going to do too much for every single uh, area. That's because we need to select all of this too. So uh, up top here, we will select this vertice and this vertice and turn the Mean Crease all the way up. You can see now it's sharp. Select this vertice, hold down Shift, this vertice, Mean Crease. There we go. Um, so now I actually want to go ahead and undo some of this because we don't need all of this in here we don't need all of this stuff so i'm going to go ahead hit c to uh do brush select and we'll grab i'm going to unselect that one we'll grab all of the vertices that are not on the outside so every single thing that's not touching which is these guys right here we'll undo this mean crease because we don't need that that's just kind of bogging us down a little bit um and also uh i think that was actually it i think that's all the ones that we have there so we're going to do this edge right here uh select that edge mean crease all the way up so now it's sharp which is nice and then we'll do this side over here. Uh, hold on, shift, mean, cre uh, sorry, crease, not mean crease. And we'll turn that all the way up. Same thing down here. On all of these edges, I want to select all of this. Hold on, shift, select this guy right here. Hold on, shift, this guy. And we'll mean crease that all the way up. There we go. On this up here, too. I forgot about these. We'll grab, hold on, shift. We'll grab those. Hold on, shift, mean crease. Perfect. And, and one more time, these right here, the little in-between neck pieces We'll uh, mean crease that all the way up. There we go. Uh, all righty. So now we have all those sharp corners and edges, which is nice. Uh, and now when we turn that mirror modifier back on, you can see we have the same thing on both sides. Uh, we're getting, I'm sorry, we're getting those lines because we have x-ray on. That's why we're seeing those, by the way. Uh, all right, so uh, we can go ahead and actually move this a little bit because we're having a little bit of problems with this. I want to actually go ahead and uh, undo the mean crease from this as well. So undo that. And also, we can undo these as well. So, uh, these pieces don't need that mean crease uh, either. Eh, eh, maybe we can leave it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll fix this up and we'll do the material in the next tutorial. I like that. We'll leave it like that. We'll do the material and fix the rest of this up in the next tutorial. We'll smooth everything out. But yeah, for now, uh, that's going to be it. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.